this is the uh, uh, in a way uh, shortcut to doing texture mapping texture coordinate sorry and mapping uh, from the previous lesson uh, we uh, we added a um, section in the video lesson how to repeat seamless textures right so um, we explained there uh, what is a seamless and what is a seam texture seamless texture is something you can repeat and you're not going to see a break in there right so to make this obvious we're going to add a texture to the car okay so first i'm going to uh, uh add a unwrap to this i'm going to just put the you know, cube projection just so that we get to see something okay and then i'm going to add uh, this photo here okay so i'm going to add this photo and then plug it in to the base color and as you can see there it is it's like a decal on a car all right and then let's say we want to repeat this uh, pattern and of course this is not a seamless texture so it will fail but from the previous lesson this is what we did we click add and then uh, output i'm sorry input texture coordinate okay and then we're going to add another one uh, for vector mapping okay UV gets plugged into the vector, vector into vector. And we're gonna ignore the rotation and location because you can do this, it will just displace the, uh, the uh, material right there. It'll rotate it and so on and so forth. But for, for our purpose, what we want is uh, repeat it, right? So right here in the scale, so if you type in two by two, then you have, um, successfully repeated it twice so there it is so i'm like increasing the number here and it's repeating it along the y-axis okay so it's a seam texture so we're kind of it's not working but it's easier to kind of visualize it this way all right so it doesn't look like it's a lot of work because you just have to add texture coordinate and mapping but if you're also um uh, adding a, a rough map or a bump map or normal map, you also have to plug this vector into those, right? So it's not just the uh, base color because otherwise you will not see the pattern. Let's say for the brick, you will see the brick color map gets, uh, uh, it gets uh, repeated, but the bump map will not get repeated, not unless you plug your vector also into the bump map or normal map, all right? So how do we get this automatically or uh, through the plugin, all right? So I'm gonna, Select this two here and delete them for now. Okay. All right. So uh, what we need is to add, uh, turn on the add-on. So it's called the Node Wrangler. So let's uh, get into adding uh, 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 add-ons here. So I'm going to go to Edit and Preferences. Okay. By add-on. So Blender, like I said before, is very lean. Um, there's only a few plugins that are actually on when you start it, okay? And the reason for that is you, you don't want to slow it down, all right? So only add or take off stuff that you don't need or need, and that's how it goes. So, And there's quite a few that are not turned on, so, you know, uh, it'll be a while for you to find stuff manually. So if you click on the add-ons right here, there's a search. So what we're looking for is the Node Wrangler. I'm just going to type in Node, and you'll see it right there. It's at the very bottom. When I turn this on by clicking it, it's already enabled. So then I can just close this and you should uh, be able to uh, use that now. So how do we use the Node Wrangler? It's quite simple. So if you select your texture right here and you do Control T, it's in Tommy. There it is. It just adds it for you, okay? And then you can do your scaling here and whatnot. So um and you can also preview using the node wrangler what a texture would look like uh before uh, plugging it okay but i think this is the biggest deal right here just to have this two right here just automatically uh get applied to the to the uh, material or texture by simply hitting Control t as in tommy all right okay so i'm gonna end the video lesson here so we can uh do it in a separate uh, video input